Hi everyone, it's Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. Welcome back to the channel. We are on part five of our series where we begin to decorate. I know the last two videos have been pretty long, even with a lot of my editing. Hopefully this one won't be that long. I'll try to keep them shorter. What we're going to do today is we're going to put in these large envelopes. Um, and look, why are they different sizes? Look at that. Huh, I mustn't have... I don't know if you see that or not. This one is longer than the other two. I must have been a little bit off in either my cutting or my score. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So we have those. I want to put I want to put those in. I want to put these three cards in. Uh, I need to get my whole punch out. I pulled now this is just regular plain paperweight paper. I pulled these out uh, do something with those to decorate. I also have these two ribbons. And what I always do is between the signatures, I place glue ribbons down and use them as bookmarks. So I want to do that. And we have these two ribbons to do that. And so let's get started. My one and a half inch circle punch, which I'm going to use. Let me push these aside for right now. I will use for, well, I don't know if I want these as side or top. Tops. All right. Well, I guess we're going to put the cards in first. So let's see what we have going on here. Oh. All these strings, all these threads, we'll, we'll deal with that eventually. But that's not high on my list at the moment. Okay. So here is our first signature, and I still have to work on um, work on that, what I'm doing to also, uh, well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put a little bit of, my dog is over there, she should be in bed because it's late at night, there, glue that down. But she's sniffing around. Okay, so we have these three. I think this one, I'm going to start with this one. I think this one would go very nice. Here we have our, because Jesus, in our center. So I think that maybe this would look very nice here. Mm. And... I'm not so sure if I like it next to this, though. Oh, and my birds. Where are my birds? Oh, I, uh, I have this die of these little birds. I call them my seagulls. Um, birds. And uh, I am going to put them here because I love to use them. I love my birds. So I think... What we can do here is, I'm just going for gold here. I'm going for gold. I will glue this down here, but do we want to, I think I'm going to do a side pocket here. Now, you see how there are these two lines here? I do it to, I slide it in and I just eyeball the center and I make the paper level with that bottom line. So it's not quite, there we go. And I probably should get out some ink to blend. Both glass, distress oxide. Get my... And I'm just going to, just around the edges, just a little bit, introducing a little bit of blue throughout, just to, I think I need a re-anchor on this, feeling, there you go. There we go. Okay. 
Put that one back. And this is also heavy card stock. So I'm trying to think about. how I want to glue it down. I think I'm going to use, I'll use this, the Ranger Multimedia Matte. And I'm using wet glue. Normally I would use like a double-sided paper tape, but for this, oh, I think I'll do that. Let me close that up. Okay, and put it there. There seems good. This is a dry. Oof. Make sure it's down on all sides. Doesn't seem to be in that corner. Let me see. Okay, and then I'm also going to see my birds. Gotta love my birds. Um, put some birds on the page. Or um, oh, I think I'll make a stencil out of the birds. I'll use a nice heavy cardstock and make a stencil so that I can just put these birds throughout throughout the journal. Place that one right there. So it's hidden. There's our pocket. Oh, there's our, not our pocket. What's going on here? I usually don't use the multimedia mat. I use the art glitter glue. Uh, I think this one takes a little bit longer to. The art glitter glue is um, what just what I used on this bird. Okay. And let's pull out another one too. How about one that is. Some of these have double sided adhesive on them. I just don't remember which ones. I know it's not the, the glitter ones, though. Need to clean the tip of that off. Oops, I dropped it. Let me get some of my reverse tweezers. There we go. And let's put another one. Ooh, they're all falling out. Let's see if we get one that's a different shape. Here we go. Hmm. Having a little problems here. Okay, oh, my chair is stuck. So there is that. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Maybe not so beautiful. See how it's, let me get my art glitter glue and just jab a little, just jab, dab a little here in the corner. Mm, that was a bit much actually. Be sure that it doesn't pull up. 
Apply a little pressure here. Okay. And now we have this one, which is very pretty. May the Lord of Peace himself give you peace at all times from Second Thessalonians. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I think maybe we'll put a pocket on here. Let's scroll here to the back. Here, we can put it here. Oh, we put it here. That'd be kind of difficult to punch it here. I want to punch it on top and put it here and next to the yellow. That's pretty too. Okay. Here's another one. Thank you very much. And for this color, oh, look, it has a little bit of purple there. We know how I love purple. I think I'll stick with blue. I'll stick with the blue one. From now on, whenever I order a new ink pad, like when they come out with new colors or something, I'm going to make sure I get the re-inker with it. I do have another, actually I have two other tumble glass pads, one just regular Distress ink and one Distress Oxide. Don't ask me why I have them, but I do. But I do not have a re-inker, so... I might have to use one of those. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to use the Arc Glitter Glue. I have more confidence in it. I'm sure the Multimedia Mat is a good glue. It just um, takes a bit to dry. This is from the Printery House 2004 Conception Abbey, Conception, Missouri. I got this probably around 2004 too, as well. Oh. And this one, I'm gonna put a bird. definitely need more birds. What I do is this is just um, a heavy cardstock that I've used some ink on, you know. There. And now we're going to flip back to this section for this one. Now, it seems that I've been putting them on that heavier... Oh, look, and that does match, doesn't it? Oh, yellow. Yellow both sides. Okay. Don't need to put it on that cardstock, though. Let's, let's take a look and see what we're doing. Our pretty butterflies... Oh, we could put that. We're going to lose a lot of the butterflies. Well, let's go back to the back here. There aren't a lot of butterflies. We can put it here. Well, again, if I put it on this side, 
I have the problem of okay there okay Okay. There. They're in. Now we're going to also uh, try to get myself a little better organized here. We're going to put down these. Now I could do both the same color. But I'm going to do separate color. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to... Oh, what is that? Seven? Seven, fourteen. So there's... Twelve. Uh, 13, 14, 15. I'm doing 16. It'll hang. It'll hang four inches over on the bottom, which is fine. See, that's why we cut them at an angle. You see how that's fraying? Just trim that off. And, oops, pretty satin ribbon. Here's the first one. Now for this one, let me cover my arc glitter glue before it dries out. For this one, I will be using, so let me get this in there. There we go. Fabrifix, because I know 99 cents, you see that? 99 cents. This stuff is usually, I don't know, four or $6 a bottle. But when AC Moore closed, they donated, I guess, a lot of stuff to my local thrift store. And I went in there one day. This is a long time ago. And there were, I don't know, I bought them all, maybe 12 bottles. So it should last me a while. Okay, so there's that. I also bought a couple of Fabri-Tac. I bought what they had. I have glue on my fingers again. Fabri-Tac is different than Fabrifix. As per the manufacturer. Now, make sure that there is glue oof, on the bottom of the ribbon here so that it won't fray. Make sure that's down. And now, the same for here. Thing with this is, you see the strings? I just got it all over my hand again. And let's get this down. In there. Right in there. 
there. And now we have a couple of bookmarks. Ooh. Okay, sorry, rubbing, rubbing glue off my fingers. All right, so there we have a couple of bookmarks. Let me just get them out of the way for the moment. All right, and now we're gonna place, we're gonna place these. Uh, now remember I said that we can, excuse me, we can place it, glue it down here. I would have to glue it all the way in. Um, we can attach it like this so it's a flip out, which might be fun. It looks pretty. Or we can glue it down this way, right? Glue it down that way so that it's a flip out this way. See that? That away. So, I guess, well, wait a second. Hold on. This is the pink. Let's, let's not use the pink. Let's use this one in here somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Um, it does match that, so we can put it, we can put it here. All right, this one we'll put like this as a flip out, okay? So, we want to, oh... I can glue it down the center so it's a tuck this way and it's a tuck that way. Or I could just glue it down here on the side so it's just a, like a little side tuck. Mm. Although maybe instead of gluing it, we should use washi tape and washi tape it down. Of course, it doesn't go the whole length of the page. What if it goes the whole length of this page? But this page doesn't, we can't because this page, it doesn't go all the way in. All right, so. Um, I could washi tape it. I don't need to washi tape the whole length of the page though. No, I'm just going to, okay, I'm doing it this way. I'm going to use this glue, although I think I might regret this in a second. Okay, so I'll get that off my finger. I'm putting a bead of glue down here just above that score line, okay? Just above that score line. I'm placing it here. Flush in. Flush in where the score line is. Squishing it down a little bit. Making sure it's flush with the paper. Okay. And... Now, what I might want to do is maybe put a little bit of washi tape on this side to secure it down. So let's hang on and pull out some washi tape. Okay, I have, I'm going to push this aside. I have some washi tapes here. Nowhere near as many washi tapes as I have, but I have some washi here. And I was thinking of these because they're vine-like, right? So pull those out. Uh, not liking those greens, the clouds, but 
Now these kind of match, but I don't want to use those. So put that aside. Then there's this. We're obviously not using this first row of the purples and the blues. We have pinks here. Flowers match. Um, we have some pinks, but I'm not thinking maybe someplace else. I don't think. And then these. This is also vine like it's wider. I don't know if I'd want something that wide. It also has gold on it. Um, but that might go nice with that. What else? That it's the wrong green though. That's my issue right now is that that definitely is the wrong green. Of course there's what's this one? I don't even, can't even tell really. Hold on, let's open it up and see. It's very faint. Actually, it looks kind of like the dandelions. I can't get it there. No. A little pink, a little green. Flowers, anyway. Mm. Might use it in the journal, although not there, I don't think. Uh, pull it out anyway. Um, butterflies are always nice. Not there, though. And here we have some pinks. So, the washies. I'm running out of room. Running out of room. I think. Oh, excuse me. This would look nice. But I think, honestly, I think I'm going to use this one. For some reason, I'm thinking this one. And I'm also thinking I'm going to reinforce it with some double-sided adhesive on the other side. So where's my ruler? Let me measure this. Oh, wrong size ruler. Oh. There. To, can't lay it down. There we go. There to uh, six and a half. Let's do six and a half. A little over six and a half. And oh. Close enough. All right. Let me move that aside. Get this cut. I'm sorry if you can't see down here. I'm cutting it closer to seven. Hopefully I'll be able to trim it there. And okay. I'm not going to do the whole. I'll just run it down the center. this backing off. So, let's measure first. Okay, it's not going to fit. Let's do it right there. Peel the backing off. And oh, 
Oops. There. Let's fold that over. There. Just gives that a little bit of extra stability. Okay. Oops. Thought I had to fold it over. Okay, starting to run out of room. So there's that, and that'll just be a side tuck. Yeah, you can just tuck things in there. Okay, now for the second section, we will do the pink one. Where are we going to do the pink one, though? And how are we going to do the pink one? Would the pink one fit this way? Yeah, we could, we can squeeze it in there that way. Um, let's try the second half here. Put it on here. Let's try, let me see. Maybe not. So this one, we could do it right here as a flip out. As a flip out this way. Okay. So What's going to be our wash, washi of choice for this one? We could do the green line. Again. This time I'm going to extra long because I'm going to put the washi down. Oh, don't stick it there. Put the washi down on both sides. If and I can, if and, if and I can keep this from sticking as I'm trying to do this. Honestly, 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 I'm going to have to cut one of these rolls. Where? Let me cut the washi tape. Oh, the troubles I'm having. This is almost as bad as the troubles I had with the oh. tissue paper and that double-sided adhesive. Almost as bad, but not quite, but not quite. Right here, it's gone off the rails a little bit. Okay, well. So I'm going to cut it off there. I'm going to lay it down here. I have, is this even on 
screen. There to there. And then I'm going to cut another one of these the same length. And hopefully, hopefully, I say hopefully. This will work. All right, so first I'm laying it here. Here is the... I'm going to not yet grasshopper. <sighs> I'm making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Uh, seriously, I am seriously making this a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, there's that. Where's that other piece? That other piece is right here. And there. Oof. There. Okay, that's envelope number two. Oh, no, that's envelope number three. Okay. No, it's not. It's envelope number two. Okay, where's this one going? I guess it's going in the middle. I put that one in the middle. Did I put that one in the wrong? I put that one in the wrong section. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Because this one is kind of goes with this one. All right. No worries. Now, how do we want to place this one in here? I would love to be able to. And this one, I just might be able to just put it down like that. Now, where do I want to put it? Where do I want to put it? It's all cockamamie-eyed. Cockamamie-eyed. Um... right there. Why don't we just do that? Put it this way, right there. I will use, seeing as how I have it here, I will use paper tape. back, whoops, to flag them. Okay. Where did I say I was putting it? Did I say I was putting it here? 
I think I did. I think this is exactly where I said I was putting it. No, I said I was putting it over here. There, there with the pocket back here. Okay. So, and now the last thing I want to do is, I know I said we would do something with those papers, but I'm not gonna do anything with those papers tonight. The last thing I wanna do is cover the outside of the spine. So I'm closing this back up. There, closing this back up. And I was thinking of this. Okay. I was thinking of this. Now, oh, hold on, let me cut it seven inches. Here we go with the Fabri Fix again. Now, I'm going to run two beads down between the signature threads there, okay? I'm also going to run a bead here along the edge and along the edge there. Whoops. Find the center of this, which I think is probably about... There, there, getting my fingers all full of glue. Pull it over just a little bit, like so. Okay, here, run it, I'm not running a bead of glue, I'm going back and forth with it. Spread the glue around. Same back here. Seems I was off on the center a little bit because there's more, a little bit more in the back here than in the front, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. And there. Rub the glue off my hands, which I have, that did not do it, but I will rub the glue off my hands. You see it all? Yeah. And that is there. That giant, that by covering the spine, it just gives the signature threads, the twine, uh, a little bit more security, you know, that they don't get accidentally cut. It'd be kind of, I mean, it would have been easy to just slip something under there and cut them. But this way, it protects them a little bit. And there is part five of our journal, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's part five. Well, this is Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. We're only limited by our own imaginations. Let yours run wild. Next um, part, part six, will be decorating more. Maybe we'll start stamping and edging and stuff like that. We're just going to go for it and have all kinds of fun. Thanks for stopping by.